The piece I was assigned to present for the final project is Balloon Girl, created by the artist Banksy. Balloon Girl was created using a stencil and graffiti spray painted on the side of a wall in London, England. Balloon Girl is one of many pieces that are a part of a series of graffiti created by Banksy around the streets of London. Many are familiar with the piece due to the artist shredding it during an auction which surprisingly brought the value of the piece up. The overall piece is very simple. However, the simplicity of the piece is what draws the crowd in. What makes this piece simple is that there is only a balloon and a girl to focus on. And so many may wonder what the story behind the piece is. The main focus, of course, is the girl herself. She is seen wearing a dress and reaching out to the balloon as it's floating. Her hair also seems to be flowing in the wind. The paint used on the girl was black spray paint, and the only color used in the piece was to create the red balloon. The red adds contrast against the girl, seeing how it's the only colorful thing in the piece. It draws the viewer's eye straight to the balloon. Lastly, by using the stencil, it allowed the artist to create crisp lines. Balloon Girl does not offer much of a story. However, alongside the piece, there is a phrase which adds some context to Balloon Girl. There's always hope is written next to the piece. In an article written by publicdelivery.org, it states that the phrase alongside the piece is supposed to represent hope. The girl reaching for the balloon represents someone who is reaching for hope, and the balloon represents innocence, dreams, and love. Therefore, to many viewers, this piece can be inspirational in terms of showing hope for tomorrow or hope that dreams do come true. On the other hand, some argue that the balloon may be floating away. This means that instead of the balloon girl, reaching for her dreams and hope she is letting go of them. After reviewing the piece and finding out multiple meanings behind it, I really felt a connection. As someone who comes from an immigrant household, I knew firsthand how important it is to keep hope and chase your dreams. My parents came to America in order to give me and my sisters a better life. And in order for that to happen, they gave up, they gave up their dreams so that we could chase ours. My sisters are college graduates and I am about to finish my associates. To my parents, this is worth sacrificing any dream they had in order to give us the best possible life. I think many people are put in this situation. Whether it's giving up your dreams for something else or chasing after them, everyone can find meaning behind the message of the piece. Although this piece is simple, it has such an inspiring message behind it. It teaches people about hope and resilience, but also letting go of something that may be holding them back. I think it's very important to recognize that both meanings of this piece can be good for your life. It also allows you to become the best version of yourself, whether that means letting go of your dreams or chasing after them. Either way, it allows the person to be happy and to be content with their life. People may walk by this piece one day and think of these things, and it may leave them wondering whether they need to chase their dreams or need to let go of them.